in the U.S. as we know, most of us, by the time we get out of college, what did we actually learn? What do we actually remember might be the better word because we take all these classes, probably more than a hundred, right? By the time we graduate college, maybe a little less, about a hundred. What do we actually remember, man? And let's look at my algebra. So I took algebra seventh grade. I took algebra in seventh grade. So I took algebra in middle school. You can tell I went to school in the U.S. around the Bush era. This is me drawing Bush, right? This is Bush. He's a cowboy and he's all about oil. And I guess I drew the Democrats as a, I don't know why I drew, you know, I think Bill Clinton said that. I don't know why I drew him as this, but obviously you could tell I was always not a fan of our two party system, but I don't know why I drew this for my algebra one class, but hey, I guess I always wanted to talk about social science. So what really surprised me about going through my Algebra 1 homework was that all the stuff I've been talking about recently, about sampling, sampling statistics, we were learning about it in middle school. I don't know how I don't remember this stuff. I took statistics high school senior year, and it was a really enlightening class. It got me to re-examine a lot of my paradigms. But somehow, algebra class, seventh grade, we were learning about sampling principles. I still have no idea. How did I forget this? What I'm demonstrating to you is exactly my point in this. The lack of synthesis, the lack of interdisciplinary, the lack of of actual applications. If going back in time, knowing what I know now, I knew that I was learning about very fundamental statistical stuff that even as you saw from the studies that I showed you guys, even in Ivy League schools, they ignore. I would have told myself, pay attention to this so much because one day this is going to benefit you to a level that you cannot even imagine. The fact that I don't remember any of this and the fact that I love statistics, I love talking about it, means that this made zero impact in anything. This unit we did on sampling in algebra class, zero impact on me. So this is just absolutely ridiculous. How? How did we have a whole unit on sampling. And obviously I aced the homework, right? So obviously at that point in my life, it burrowed somewhere in my mind, but lack of applications, lack of interdisciplinary type of applications. And somehow out of all the things I don't remember, I don't remember at all in algebra class studying anything related to statistics. I just remember drawing a lot of graphs, but how? If I knew that we had applications, I would think about all the math I took differently. This is crazy, man. This is why it's also important to look back on things because so much potential, man. Some days I think about our education system and I think it's purposely done to make us dumb. Maybe that's not the truth. The truth is some of the teachers, they weren't too good at helping us apply it and slash see interdisciplinary applications. And then on top of that, maybe they didn't even know. They were given a rubric. They were taught how to teach. Maybe they didn't even know how kids would use it because they themselves aren't even using it. So it's a lot of issues. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you guys is I cannot believe that I studied so much of fundamental statistical stuff. But where you learn anything, normal curve, Poisson distribution, whatever, all that stuff, you need to understand how to get a sample. So then, this was actually what prompted me to make this video. I found this first before I found the statistics stuff. Because I love this stuff way more, that stuff I had to show you first. So, this was also an algebra class. So check this out. This was basic physics, man. We were applying algebra to physics. So, in 7th grade, man, I didn't take physics until 10th grade. I didn't take physics until 10th grade, man. I could have had a head start if 
somehow this was emphasized. I think the way math is taught in the American education system, it tries to give you a general overview of how to apply it in every potential discipline that you might study. It's almost like you apply it to everything and don't learn how to actually apply it to anything. You see how much wasted time spent learning that then you have to relearn? And I get it that the brain relearns things much quicker, but why not learn it well and be able to use it the first time? There's just something that I don't have an answer to all this because obviously I'm not an educator and I won't pretend to be an educator, but there's something not right about our education system. And you think of, for example, back in the day, kids would, by the time they were like 12 or 15, they would go work. Now, some of that was exploitation. Some of that was just bad labor practices, but potentially follow my gist here, follow my train of thought here. Maybe if education taught you these things better, aka I didn't have to learn about stuff in physics that I didn't even know was related to physics, and then years later, take a physics class and relearn it, not even realizing that I already learned it, and doing this for statistics, doing this for chemistry, doing this for every single field. Maybe back in the day, the reason why a male, usually, a man could, let's say, go out into the real world at 14 or 15 was because he learned more efficiently. He learned more efficiently. So the education system got him to learn and be able to apply things more efficiently. And on top of that, we know there's fewer distractions. So that also contributes to learning more efficiently. So just some things I'm thinking about, man. I'm just genuinely surprised that all the stuff that I had to learn in high school, I already learned basically in middle school. And what's to say I wasn't as smart. In fact, probably I was even smarter in middle school. The more you get stupid ideas put into your head, especially as media evolved, I think you got dumber. I legitimately think probably I was smartest around the seventh grade, eighth grade mark. For every educator that's watching, how can the education system prevent this much waste? It's not just time wasted, it's resource wasted too, because this meant multiple teachers were trying to teach me the same thing. And then we talk about being green, resource wasted too. Like how much paper? What if they just learned it the first time? Also, look at that. There's John Bush again. I just love making fun of George W. Bush. That's the one good thing about growing up here in America, right? You could sort of make fun of presidents and stuff like that. You can't do that in certain places. Check this out. This is chemistry. We're learning about how bacteria grow, equations to simulate it, decay, etc. But again, I didn't take chemistry until high school, right? So all this stuff was lost. We had to relearn this stuff. Again, wasted time, wasted teaching, wasted effort, wasted paper. That's all, man. You guys let me know. Have you guys gone through this process of realizing you learned and relearned and wasted so much time or is my education or is the education system I went to unique? That's for you guys to let me know. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon.